I painted my outdated 90s bathroom tiles about 8 months ago and I love the result. But did they last? Today I'm gonna show you. Welcome to DIY with Tuba. Updating this bathroom by painting the tiles cost me almost nothing and yet the result was priceless. This is truly a cheap and affordable way to create yourself a beautiful environment when you cannot afford a renovation. Renovations are costly and time consuming and not everyone can commit. That's why painting can be the best solution for those. But I get a lot of questions about how my tiles are holding up after using them for a while. Did they last? I'm gonna give you that update today. Yes, this method is cheap, but you are gonna put so much effort and time into it, of course you want well worth the effort. This is one of my favorite DIY projects I have done so far. I have a full tutorial on how to paint tiles and the link to it is in the description below as well as at the end of this video. I highly recommend you watch that video before you start painting and get your materials. I'll be going over the steps here very quickly but that doesn't cover everything. After doing a deep cleaning I painted the tiles with a primer. Once they were dry I applied two coats of regular paint and a coat of top coat using the Rust-Oleum 2 steps floor coating system. All the materials are listed in the description of that original video and also I will put them down below in this one. I am a true believer in the power of paint, you can paint almost anything but you have to follow the right steps for that specific project. So I made some mistakes which I realized later on. I'm going to share those with you here so you can avoid them when you work on yours. Of course this is not expected to last for decades, right? It can never be like new tiles. But you can expect to enjoy the result at least for a couple of years if you don't mind small issues here and there or maybe no issues at all. I have a few but I still prefer this a hundred times over my old bathroom. Let's take a closer look at I would say almost 95% of the paint is in great condition, as good as the first day I painted them. No bubbling, no peeling, no fading of the color. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Even though this bathroom is used daily and it gets very steamy, water runs down the walls after each shower, nothing happened to the paint. Even around the tub. This area gets the most water, literally shower water, shampoos hit this area constantly but you see no issues at all. And some great thing I notice is that tiles don't get dirty. The top coat seems not to hold any dirt which is a great bonus. I have to be honest, I only cleaned this wall once. Not because it needed it, but because I was just wondering if it had any dirt on it and there wasn't. Make sure to use a soft sponge and not scrub the tiles when you clean them. Please don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you for the support. Now let's look at that 5% that didn't go right and how to avoid it. The system failed on the flat surface of the niches where the shampoo bottles set with water trapped under them. The prolonged time of water exposure didn't agree with the paint. The paint started to crack and lift up as water made its way through between the paint and the tiles. Well, first of all, this wouldn't have happened if I used the whole set correctly. You can find out why I choose not to use the whole set from the original video. So I skipped step 1 and instead I used regular paint, then I used step 2 which is the top coat. But if you use the whole set, both step 1 and 2 together, you may not have this issue. This is my floor where I used both steps properly and I have no problems at all so far. And this floor do get water sometimes and sits on it for a while. 
How can I fix this now? Easy, I will just put a piece of marble cut to the right size or some tile matching the color concept here. Let me show you the second problem, again that can be fixed easily. Right behind the sink where water gets splashed and sits on this tiny flat surface on the black splash, the paint is lifted off the tile right here. I think I can solve this problem by applying a thick line of white caulk after removing the silicone and give it a 45 degree angle so water will not get a chance to sit on it. These are the problems I'm facing after 8 months of use and thankfully they can be fixed easily. I'm still in love with the result just like the first day, no regrets whatsoever. If you are considering painting your tiles, watch these videos for all the tips and tricks to get the best result. Good luck with your project and don't forget to share your results with us in the comment section below. Bye!